Hi everybody, Christopher Odd here. Welcome to my final walkthrough of the game on Mechanical. This is level five of five. And uh, just before I, I go through this level, I just want to say uh, I absolutely love this game. I had such a good time with it. And if you watched all the videos from front to back, you might be thinking, well, it's really short. But keep in mind, um, you have to experiment a lot to get through all the puzzles. Uh, some of them are very, very difficult and it took me a long time to figure them out. But for the purposes of the walkthrough, I wanted to take my notes and make sure uh, that I could do it quickly for you guys. So, uh, that being said, it, is it worth the $9 that I paid for it? I say yes. I like, I like to support uh, the indie developers. I really do. And uh, when, with games like this, I love the art style. I love the music. There's just tons of little details that go into it. And it, it's just fantastic. So, um, if you guys uh, are into supporting some indie game developers, uh, this is definitely one that I would recommend and uh, that I love. It's such a great game. So, uh, this is level 5. Let's get going. We're going to follow uh, through this tube. And this first little game is actually a music game. It's very cool. Uh, it's kind of like the Simon Says that we did at the beginning, but with beats. There's four uh, beats for the first two rounds, and then it opens up these gates to make eight beats. Okay? These speakers are going to start pulsating, and what you need to do is you need to remember which speakers are pulsating on which beat, and then match the uh, buttons accordingly. So let's let's see how the first beat's going to go, and it's different every time. So that was top, top, bottom, bottom. So you can see there, top, top, bottom, bottom. Pull this piston. We got it. Okay. Now it was top, 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 both. Okay. Now, before I hit this one, it's gonna, because I'm, I'm pretty sure we got this one right, uh, but it's gonna actually open that gate and it's gonna go to eight. And it can sometimes be very confusing. So uh, I'm gonna pull this and I'm gonna stay quiet for a second so I can try to remember what's happening. Okay, so top, 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 both, 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 bottom, top? Ooh, I don't know. I can replay it too, if I'm not sure. Okay, so I think on the third beat it had both as well. Okay, so, yeah, so top, top, Boom, boom, boom. And then actually it might have been just top on its own. And this is just part of it. You just got to experiment a little bit. And I think the end was two as well. Oh, okay. This one's here. Like that. Oops. There we go. I'm pretty sure that's it. So let's try it out. There we go, we made it through. So it's just through a little bit of trial and error, and the cool thing is, uh, <laughs> I've played this back so many times that I have a lot of fun with it, and it's different beats every time, so, um, very cool stuff, very cool stuff. Oh, <laughs> just got knocked in the head there with my orb, that's okay. We're gonna take the orb back, oops. And you guys know where we're going with it. Drop it in there, and we're gonna follow it down back to where we came from. Let's grab the orb, and I think we're gonna go down right there. Claw. Okay, and we're at our next puzzle. So the point of this puzzle is to regulate the amount of energy that that orb is giving off, and uh, you'll see this little icon here kind of looks like, well, kind of looks like my character actually, I think. Uh, what you want to do is you want to get the energy level right to where those lines are, okay? I happen to know that the way to do that is by pulling these right two light bulbs and it's going to match, okay? Then we're going to switch this off because we want all the energy going down into the next puzzle, okay? For this one, well, <laughs> I'll show you. Oh, 
Oops. There we go. And you're probably thinking, well, that's not right because it's not at the line. But now watch. Turn off these ones. You hear that? That means we were successful. So, uh, the top one, just to, rem just to do a another quick overview, the top one is the top two light bulbs. The bottom one, flick that switch, turn off those top two light bulbs, and turn on all four bottom ones, okay? Now we're going to continue. <clears throat> so, this one, <laughs> this had me confused. Oh, hey, buddy. Let's go follow him. Oh, I can't get to him. That's too bad. What do you think he's doing? Hmm. Well, this one had me confused for a while. What we need to do... Is you can see the pattern here. Two, three, one, four, five. Or what is it? Two, three, one, five, four. I'm sorry. We're gonna pull the switch. Pull it. Oh, come on, you. I have to, we have to wait till he goes away. Thank you. Get out of here. <laughs> okay. Now we're gonna pull the switch. Now we need to remember this order right here. This is very important. So there's two slashes, one slashes, a block, four slashes, and three. So just for the purpose of memorizing this, we're gonna call this block five. So we're gonna go two, one, five, four, three. Two, one, five, four, three. So this is a five. It's gonna go where the five goes. But now everything's gonna change. You still have to remember the rest. So two, one, five, four, three. All those new icons are just there to confuse you. Two, one, five, four, three. There we go. This is a one, so two, one. Right there. This is a four, so it's gonna go where the four went before. Two, one, five, four. And if we pull this one here, should be back to our original numbers. Two, one, five, four, three. Pull the piston and voila, we got it. Okay, so <laughs> I'll, I'll tell you guys what I was trying to do. This took me a really long time to figure out. I was trying to do math, I was adding, subtracting, whatever, and sometimes it's just best not to overcomplicate things in these kind of games. Green orb, let's rock and roll. Okay, let's let the music hit in for a bit here. Abs I love the music, it's so well done. <laughs> We're gonna hit the switch. Oh, weird. Doesn't open that door, but it does open this one, so that's where we're gonna go. This part here is not really a puzzle. Um, you're just basically following these, these entryways wherever you can. It's a little bit more difficult on the diagonal ones, but you'll get it. You can get an achievement uh, if you get stuck under here. And uh, you can start rolling around, and you'll get an achievement called Loops, which is cool. I'll see if I can do it for you guys. It's gonna take me a second here. Oh. You'll you'll do it. Go through that your first time, and you'll get one. It'll be Loops. Now, this is cool. Um, the thing is, this puzzle is actually already done for you, but. Most people come here and they start hitting on these like little globes and starts messing up the stairs, right? And you're, the goal is to get past there. And if you don't, if you don't time it right and you try to go through, you're gonna get hit into these fans. You're gonna get brought back. So the point is to actually level out the stairs like it was at the very beginning. And if you just hold it, 
and wait for the other ones to come in line with it. Just get it so it's relatively even, and then you can get right through. Not too bad, but it's it it's just funny because you know people always have the intuition to go and just start messing with buttons and see what happens, but you know sometimes you just don't gotta do that stuff. Sometimes just keep it simple. Just leave it how it is. Now we're gonna hit up this elevator. It's gonna take us up to the top. almost there and you're gonna see that this door is gonna open to the left okay the thing is there's nothing over there that, that we can do anything with so we want to actually take that pipe it's a little bit hidden so it might take you a second to find it if you never played before and let's squeeze out of here ah there we go okay I'm gonna continue to the right now we've got this crazy machine here, okay? First thing you want to do, hit this switch. It's gonna open half that door. That's cool. And you're gonna see these little things mashing up there. And if I tried to go through here, I can't because it's blocked, right? So I need to figure out a way around that. There's a little hatch here. Kinda hidden, but you just hit that, hit the button. In here there's a piston. It's actually gonna adjust that little stomper up there. See how it just switched those? Now if I hit this button, watch what happens. When they stop, they're going to be separated. There we go, so I can carry on through. Very cool. Alright. Now there's all these different orbs here. Very distracting. Very distracting. I'm going to pull this, and you're going to see that that opens up the tube at the bottom. Let's go through the tube. And there's this barrier here, so you can't do anything with those orbs anyways. They're they're just a distraction. Don't do anything with them. Look at what's going on back there. So cool. Now we're at kind of like this epicenter of power in the unmechanical world. And there's a switch here, we're just gonna hit that. Again, only half, okay? But it had to have done something, right? So, let's go down here. You see these two lights are now flashing. It's trying to get your attention, so that's where we can go. We can take these pipes here. Follow the pipe down and to the right. And we're out. Now, what you see is there's cords in the background there. What we're going to do is actually go and unplug all these cords. Come on, you can do it, buddy. Come on. Come on. Don't give up. Oh. Now, what happened there? Well, that one's stuck in more than these ones are. So you got to take out the bottom ones first. And at first, I couldn't figure out like what was going on, but uh, you have to actually remove those ones first to make this one easier to take out. Now, some stuff's going to happen in the background. I'll just let you watch. You get sucked into these tubes. It's basically going to take us to the next puzzle, but our guy's taking some serious abuse in these tubes. <laughs> it's okay. He's used to it. He can handle it, though. He's tough. There we go. Okay. Now, it drops you into the water, but I'm just going to tell you right now, there's nothing in the water for you to do. You actually want to go to the very, very top of this area. Okay, see the hatch here? Look at the video camera, scanning. It says, okay, yeah, you can go through the hatch. Why not? So that's what we're going to do. Oh, I love this music. <laughs> Look at this. It's just like it's gorgeous. I think I'm going to make this my new desktop background. That's just like that is I just love this art. I just love the art direction so much. Just the colors, how they're muted and they're all like in a similar kind of gray tone. I just I love it. <laughs> I'm just like fanatic about this game. 
Okay, so here we are. Now, I'm going to show you what, what happens here, and this isn't going to work the first time, but I'm going to pull this out. And it's going to scan me. It's saying, hmm, not so much. All right? Because eventually, once I get this correct, it's going to open up this thing, okay? And that's 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 where the end is. So we, we want that. <laughs> now, there's a couple of tricky things that are happening here. If you go here, do you remember earlier in the game when uh, you'd go into a tube like this and it gave us those uh, the scuba tanks on the back? Well, when I first played this, I thought, well, I'm just going to do that again and then it'll scan me and I'll be good. But no, okay? So then there's here and you, you're thinking, well, I got to put something in there to power it then. So you go into the room and you see this battery. And you're like, all right, cool. Let's take this battery out. Let's just dump it in here and let's morph, right? But again, you're like, it's not working. So grab your battery. Uh oh, where is it? Oh. There, I got it. Okay. So, grab your battery and just carry it with you. We got to go a little ways here. But uh, you're going to be happy if you bring it along the first time. Because if you don't, you're going to have to go all the way back and get it. I think it's an Energizer. Uh, Energizer's green and silver. Black. Duracell copper and gross. Now, you're hitting this switch, it's not doing anything, but what you don't see is you gotta look closer underneath. You see that battery under there? We gotta clear a path so we can actually get to it. You just lift these blocks out of the way. Try to grab it right on the edge. Ah, these ones are in the way now. But if you grab it on the edge, it's just a little bit uh, easier to to lift. Because like, our guy's not very strong. Let's go closer. There we go. And it's all physics, right? So it's it's easier to lift from that angle because you've got more leverage on the other side. This one at the very edge. And let's go, buddy. You can do it. He does it because he's boss and let's get rid of this old crappy see that looks like a duracell right there because it's yellowish and old and dead I'm telling you i recommend energizer batteries all the way if energizer wants to sponsor that message totally okay with it um let's drop it in there all of a sudden we've got power to our door very cool and look where we are okay we're back here well that's fantastic, but we don't actually want to go anywhere new. We want to go back to where we just came from. So we're going to go back through these pipes. I think most people will probably get confused at that point, and they'd probably go uh, left and uh, end up at the beginning. But we want to actually pick up our little friend here, okay? And what do you guys think I'm going to do with him? Well, you guessed it. Oh. Oh, come on. Come on. We want to take him right back to where we just came from because we are going to scan him. And hopefully that's going to grant us access to that door. I don't know. Let's see if it will. Almost there. I kind of feel bad for this little robot guy. He's pretty damaged up, you know? He didn't do anything. Just probably a janitor. Oh, come on. You can do it. It's hard to swing the momentum. I said it earlier, but you can really feel the weights of these guys. Okay, we're going to set him here. We're going to scan him. And it's going to open up the top gate. Now, this is the end of the game, right here, and uh, I, I, I may actually, I may do a, a, a review of this game, um, piecing together some of the things that I really liked and, and some of the things I maybe would have done differently, uh, but I had a really great time playing this game, I can't stress that enough, and I know the, the walkthrough, I'm doing it very mechanically because I want people to be able to, to find this video, find the part that they're stuck on, and then just go on and enjoy the game. Um, but from start to finish, I absolutely loved this game. I got about 
four hours out of it, I would say, in total. And uh, I was really taking my time just looking at the scenery and, and enjoying the game for what it is. Um, what else can I say? It's a fantastic game. You see the, the light coming in? Gorgeous. And that's it everybody, that's the walkthrough for Unmechanical. 2012 award winning indie game. I absolutely loved it. It's on sale, 10% um, off on Steam right now. Highly recommend that you get it if you have the extra eight or nine dollars to spare. Uh, if you don't, then wait for it to go on uh, maybe the uh, Christmas Steam sale or whenever they have their, their crazy deals. I'm sure you can find it for a lot cheaper. Um, it's definitely worth, worth the buy if you have the extra cash and uh, play it for what it is. It's a really gorgeous game. I'm just gonna let the credits roll out here and that will be the end of the video. Thanks everybody.